Okay, traders, uh, here is my results for today. Not a bad uh, outcome for, what was it, like six minutes in ZM? <laughs> so as you can see here, I'm over $50,000 in ZM and just a small winner in Kodak. I did not expect, of course, Kodak to be a big winner. It was just a regular trade. But what I do want to talk about here is the fact that not all setups are created equally. And what do I mean by that? Look at the both setups here of uh, ZM and Kodak. What you see in ZM is a big gap up and then a gap and go, meaning ZM moved over the highs. That's the trade we took. Scott posted it for a long today over 420. I followed Scott. I went long here with Scott and it did great. On the other hand, you take a look at Kodak, which also started with a huge gap up today. However, tried to move higher, failed, came down under the lows and continued coming down. In fact, the trade I took was right here at $8, a short under $8. It's not a huge trade, it's a small, I mean, at best it moved like 60 cents, but basically the stock is failing. So you may ask yourself why? Why? is a stock with a gap and go formation like Kodak comes down and a stock with a gap and go formation like ZM moves up. So, you know, some of the people, some, I mean, I do post my trades. Um, I mean, we are posting them live here, uh, of course, in the trading room. But uh, then if it comes out in as a video in YouTube, I'm often being asked, I mean, what did you find in Kodak to go short and in ZM to go long? Well, the answer is quite simple. Look at the daily. Look at the way ZM behaves. ZM is trending higher. You all know what ZM is doing. You can see the huge gap up. ZM is being watched by a lot of people. Kodak is also being watched by a lot of kiddo people. But also look at the daily. Kodak is notorious in coming down after moving up. If you watch Kodak moving up, the best opportunity you can possibly find is shorting it. I mean, there's and you probably need to know a little bit about the company. It's a company that really has no business. It's a company that somehow is being held recently, got some business. Well, you know about the history of Kodak, of course. You know what? I don't want to get into the fundamentals here. But if you dig into the fundamentals of Kodak, it has really nothing. So when you see a gap up in Kodak, look at the daily, think about the company. And there is a fundamental part to what I'm saying here. You shouldn't totally disregard fundamental. When I started out as a trader, I was I considered myself to be 100% technical. It's absolutely not true today. I'm probably more like 80% technical and 20% fundamental, but the fundamental does take a big part in my decisions sometime. Like, why would I go long ZM and short Kodak? Both of them had some fundamental touch into my decision. So again, the clear trade in ZM was to go long somewhere. I did mention it was going to be quite a dangerous trade. I mean, the stock came down quite strong and we took it here close to the lows. So you may ask yourself, okay, so isn't that just a small pullback and then it's going to continue down? Yes, this could be the case, but in case of a big gap up, you do expect it to move over the highs to continue moving higher. Therefore, the likelihood of the stock changing direction and moving up after a small green candle is higher than the continued downtrend. Although this did happen in Kodak. And again, I send you back to the daily and to some fundamentals to understand a little bit, bit more about uh, Kodak. So if you take a look at ZM, that was a classic gap and go. I followed Scott, took it over 420. It was an amazing trade, which put $50,000 on my table in I don't know, what was it, six minutes? Something like that. Anyway, uh, that's a, I don't need more than that. Sometimes you just need one good trade for the day. And I kind of referred from doing additional trades. I have seen some other nice setups, but after having such a great winner, I didn't really want to ruin anything. So ZM was great. Uh, Kodak was kind of clear cut trade for me. So I knew I was not risking much. And uh, end result, amazing. <laughs> Really happy to trade today. Really happy that uh, some of you joined us. And um, if you guys on YouTube want to give us a thumb up, that would be appreciated. Looking forward to trading with you all tomorrow. And don't forget your Star Trader course today, this evening. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, see you all tomorrow. Bye, traders. Thank you for watching our video. 
The material was taken from The Market Whisperer, my Amazon best-selling book. This essential guide to stock trading is ideal for those with no background or experience in stock trading. Click here to read the 200 page part 1 of this book absolutely free. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can view many more stock trading videos. Questions or comments, please submit them below.